wait. <laughs> That went from zero to 100 real fast. Let's try out some new products. First of which is this Makeup Forever HD Skin Hydra Glow. I don't know about this, so let's let's figure this out. I have all three of the darkest shades. Let me show you. The darkest shade is 4N78. This is Ebony for very deep skin with neutral undertones. One step down from that is 4R76. This is Cool Ebony for very deep skin with rosy undertones. The next step down is 4N72. This is Cocoa for deep to very deep skin with neutral undertones. This is a little questionable right now, okay? Let's try out the darkest shade on my skin. I'm gonna do a pump. Wow, this is really deep. Ooh, it's a juicy color, but clearly too dark for me. Now here's the next option for R76, which is I believe my only option. It's darker than it looks in the bottle, at least to me. Oh no. Ah, I think I can make this work, but oh, this is cool ebony, but it's, mm, I have no choice but to go with this one. So I already know that this is my shade. I would just love a shade right in between the two of these. To me, that would be perfect. And I'm not gonna mix because for $47, we should have our shade, you know? And then this is 4N72, the shade is Coco. Obviously not my shade, okay? Jeez, look at the jump between the three. I didn't even blend this because, excuse me, how? Let's start off with the lip primer. This is the MAC Prep and Prime lip because you know I gotta begin here. I'm getting three pumps of the shade 4R76 and we're gonna blend. The reason why I'm not sure about this is because again, I like to go darker, but this is what I have right now. Now it's a natural radiant finish and it gives medium coverage, which I can see. <laughs> more red than I would prefer, but here we are. It does feel nice and cool on the skin. The hydration of it all feels good because my skin be feeling dry and today is one of those days. Despite the fact that I do have my skincare on, you might be thinking she looks wet already. I like to focus on hydration. And then when the whole face is done, it all comes together. You know how it goes. When I put the foundation over the eyes, that's when I really test the coverage of the foundation. You can still see my microblading. So yeah, it's giving medium coverage for sure. That was three pumps. Clearly did not need all of that. I could have just gone with two and now I know. I also got these new Best Skin Ever Glow Concealers, which I was so surprised about. I was like, hold on a second, I was getting a new concealer from Sephora Collection. I got shades 56, 57, and 59. This is the shade 56 for deep skin with neutral undertones. I think this will look good on me. Okay, this is gonna give me a subtle highlight. It's not the most dramatic, but I do like this shade. Now, you know that I've told you this several times, depending on the tone of the foundation that I use, this shade right here, will look different. So if my foundation were darker, this would pop more. So I definitely am glad that I picked this shade because this looks good already. Let's blend it in. Okay, this is blending in nicely. Yes, it's hydrating. So if you have dry under eyes, this is gonna be good for you. You certainly wanna make sure that you are moisturizing your under eye area because that's important too. But then if it still feels dry, then make sure that the concealer that you use and the foundation, if you feel, is hydrating. That's a good combination for you. There's a goldenness to this concealer. I love it, oh my gosh. I like this shade a lot and I will say, not a lot is coming out on the stick, so that's annoying. Like, come on, can more come out? Hello? It's just so little. Ooh, okay. So this shade shade is, yeah, it's not light enough. It's giving natural, which if you like that, then go for it with this combination right here. But when I especially go into my cheek to reverse highlight or reverse contour, which is the highlight, I'm not seeing it. it it's it's blending in, it's, it's disappearing. So I'm gonna put this down and then lighten it with a lighter concealer. But as far as the finish is concerned, I think this looks so cute. My face looks so glowy. Wow. I grabbed the Elf Cosmetics Camo Concealer. This is the shade Deep Chestnut, cause I know that this is wicked light. Now, this one is mattifying. It's gonna change the finish of my under eye concealer, but it's all good. You've at least already seen that it's very hydrating, golden. I just love this. So look at that, wicked light. Let's just focus there and blend this in. All right, took that up a notch and it wasn't too crazy. So if you have a concealer that is way too light for you, go ahead and layer it if you feel so inclined, if you don't feel like it's gonna look crazy, you feel me? Because if you have cakiness under your eyes, i.e. texture, maybe some peeling skin, which I'll get from time to time, you may not like the idea of layering two concealers because it'll look wild. But if you don't have that problem and you use a concealer and it's not light enough for you, then feel free to layer it, okay? Do what you gotta do, because I do what I gotta do. All right, and let's highlight all over the face in the key areas, which is important because it just brings the whole look together. And then the butt of the sponge to blend any harsh lines. Now, I do have rosacea. I've got a breakout right now, so don't be alarmed. 
This skin still looks good though. Yes, do we see now? The highlight under the chin just looks so good. The skin is looking hydrated, okay? Let's go to a good old faithful, okay? LYS bronzer. This is the shade Worthy, because excuse me, I'm worthy and so are you. Hello, hi. And this shade is so deep. Now, this foundation is really close to my skin tone, so this contour is going to look a lot darker than it normally would if my foundation were darker. And I always talk about this. So here, we're gonna start blending from the hairline cheek, top of the ear area, okay? Blending more toward the hairline and then bringing it down forward. And then now we are here in the hairline. I already filled my hairline in with Color Wow, so we ain't got those issues, at least not right now. And we're blending in in small sections. This is the Hourglass Veil Translucent Setting Powder and the shade is Translucent Deep. I'm gonna put some in the cap and then knock it back down and let's open it up. Okay, we got a little bit of product. I'm gonna use this cute brush that Hourglass sent me as well. And we're gonna pick up some of the product here. Always tap off the excess. I'm not gonna start under my eye because I wanna see how this looks first of all. Okay, I don't see color. But the good thing is that it's got some color in it. In case you're worried that the translucentness of the product is gonna give you a white cast. Clearly that's not what's happening here. Oop. <laughs> Did I take too much? Uh, hold on, let's turn this over. Excuse me. <laughs> Girl, a lot of stuff be happening. Are you feel me? <laughs> okay, this looks good. If I put this under my eye, I think it would still look good. Okay. I am gonna use this hourglass brush to put some of the product right under my eye because this does look pretty. <laughs> Blend out the harsh lines first, and here we go. Right underneath here, really, really close because I wanna intentionally get where those fine lines are. And then I'm taking the Elf Halo Glow in the shade medium beige. Now we're gonna set the rest of the under eye area. This is gonna give the glow that I need. I won't lie, the, the foundation, I wish it was full coverage. It's not my favorite. Cause I can just see, I can see my skin around my mouth and it's an issue for me. If you don't have blemishes, your skin is clear and smooth, then I think you're gonna love this. Because I do, at least for today, and I'm seeing the blemishes, it's bothering me. This is the Milk Makeup Translucent Powder over my brows to make sure that they're not oily. I feel like deepening up this contour just a smidge. I'm gonna use the e.l.f. powder foundation. This is the shade Rich 660N. Again, I mean, it's, it's gonna be a little bit dark, but I love that. I just I love my contour is nice and deep. I won't lie, the skin is looking golden. I mean, what is it? Is it the concealer? I love this. The first one, the best skin ever one. Maybe it's just that. Maybe it's that mixed with the foundation. Either way, it looks so good. This brush is also so good. It fits right here so perfectly. And now for face powder, here's the One Size by Patrick Star Dark 4G Powder Foundation. And this is a lawless brush. This is gonna give me some more coverage, which, I mean, you could argue that, okay, well then what's the issue with the medium foundation? I just like double duty. I like double duty because it looks so good. <laughs> but yeah, I mean, I still see the issues here and it's not just the texture, it's just I could use more coverage here. You feel me? It's coming together though, it's cool. The skin looks golden. Ooh, Rare Beauty highlighter and the shade is Flaunt. Right here and down the middle of the nose. And then for blush, I have this new one from One Size. Oh my God, it matches my pajamas, so cute. Look at it. We've got cream, a matte, and a shimmer. Choose me, pick me, and love me. Let's pounce my sponge into the cream side first and see what we get. Ooh, it's very light. Ooh, okay, it's giving my gel. Wait, <laughs> whoa, okay, that went from zero to 100 real fast. At first I wasn't seeing it, and now I'm like, hold on. Ooh, okay, it is more light than I would prefer. Almost like a violet, magenta, wow. <laughs> I think it's pretty. <laughs> It crept up on me. That's why I'm gonna blend over here in a sec. What? It definitely crept up on me. Hmm. I'm trying to even it out by adding a lot more on this side. I just needed to, wow. Tap off the sponge and then let's melt this into the skin a little more. Yeah, there's no need for me to go in with powder or the shimmer. This is enough. This is definitely enough. Now with whatever is left over on this brush, because I used this for the contour, let's bring some of that back. I like my blush to stick midway toward the front of my face, not back here. So we're gonna bring this here, but I put it back there a little bit just to allow for the blend to happen. You feel me? It's gotta blend it. I'm using the Sephora brow pencil. This is a shade Granite. It's so good cause it's thin and it gets right up in there, honey. It's a black or is it a natural black color? It gets right up in there and I'm making these strokes in an upward motion as you see. And they were coming toward this side. I like to do my brows differently with makeup than when I do it without makeup. Well, I don't 
don't do them without makeup. I just leave them alone. They're microbladed. And then with makeup, I like to do them differently. People love to comment on my brows. And here's the thing. You gotta do what's best for you. You feel me? Cause I might not like what the hell you doing, <laughs> okay? And here's the thing, I don't need to. I don't need to. You gotta do what you like to do and always remember that your girl's gonna do what she likes to do. You feel me? Let's normalize that, cause that's okay. And this is what I do, I'm making the arch, as you can see right here, and I've been doing this like this for so long that I can do this quickly, as you just saw. Just get it on, okay? It, it ain't gonna be perfection, but it definitely is gonna look how I want it to look. And this pencil is so slim to get you those brow-like strokes. I use the Best Can Ever Glow Concealer to carve underneath my brows, not the top, just underneath. And now I'm blending it in with this sponge. And this shade again, just looks so good. It gives you the highlight. It's not too much, but it's enough that I can see it. And I love, this. there's gotta be some goldenness in, to, in this. It just, just looks so good. And I'm setting this with the Hourglass Deep Translucent Veil Setting Powder and this Hourglass Brush. Huda Beauty has some new eyeshadows. And this little bag is so cute. Let me see what's inside. Jeez, there's a lot of stuff inside here. Okay, we have liners, mascara, and two different eyeshadows. This is the Neutrals Brown Creamy Obsessions Eyeshadow Palette. And this is the Neutrals Grage Creamy Obsessions Eyeshadow Palette. How interesting, what is grage? Wow. Here they are side by side. I'm gonna use this Hourglass number 14 brush. And we gotta build up this eye look. You already know how I do. So this is another Huda Beauty palette. This is the Chocolate Obsessions palette. I'm taking this color because it's my favorite. And right up in here, we're gonna get our crease color popping. I like the reddish brown because it transitions just so nicely on my skin tone for every eyeshadow look. Now I must say this blush is looking really soft. Should I go back and do some more or what? I don't I don't see it like I thought I was gonna. Maybe you see it. <laughs> Balancing out the same color underneath my eyes. Okay, this is cute because it tells you which ones are creamy. Maybe they can be used as eyeshadow bases or as standalone eyeshadows. Interesting, so we got a taupe color. I'm gonna go simple and take this top color right here and let's see how this looks. I could use my finger, but my nails, I don't know how that would look. Oh, this has got a little gray to it. Interesting, I actually like this. This looks really pretty. This is cool toned and I like it. I normally don't like cool toned shadows. This is nice. I can see myself putting a, a color right on top of this, but I'm gonna leave it because I really do enjoy how this looks. If you have dry under eyes for any reason, I think you'll enjoy a creamy eyeshadow, which can be used, like I said, as a base or just be used by itself as your entire eye look. This is the Huda Beauty Creamy Eye Coal. The shade is Very Vanta, which is extreme black. And it's 24 hour flake free wear. Let's get this right here in the waterline, honey. And I tight line this because it's easier and then we're gonna smudge just a smidge here. Smudge a smidge. I have a little wing liner going on. That was not the plan, but it's there. <laughs> the creamy eyeshadow looks so natural. It looks like it's not even there. <laughs> So it's a very natural look. Here are these two shades that I'm considering for shimmer on the inside of my eye. This one is bold and this one is more subtle. For today, let's go a little more subtle. Only because the eye is so simple, this will be too much. But when I really step out with my eye, I'm gonna use that other shade. This one feels creamy too. It doesn't say creamy on it, maybe because it's a pressed shimmer, but this one looks creamy as well. It's not flaking all over the place like a shimmer would. You feel what I'm saying? You could use your fingers for this too, but my nails are so long, but I can see this going on so nicely with the finger. This is the Huda Beauty One Coat Mascara, which I did get a new one of, but I've already used this several times. I stink and love it. To me, this rivals the Fenty Beauty Hella Thick. They're both so good. Look at that. This is just one coat. And I'm going under and a little wiggle or a lot of wiggle and then we go on i don't even need to go on top that's just how good it looks what i will say is the cream eyeshadow is creasing oh is it supposed to self-set am i supposed to cover it with something it is creasing what in the world sometimes these cream shadows self-set sometimes they don't and i see creasing oh, that's a bummer i'm gonna do my usual lashes you know what's 
beautiful girl. I buy these in bulk from AliExpress, but you can get them on Amazon if you wanna get them sooner, but I get them in bulk, so I don't mind waiting two weeks to get them. All I do is trim off that extra line on the sides. Cause it be sticking me, I can't stand that. And then we're gonna use our Old Faithful Kiss Eye Envy Stronghold Lash Glue. Okay, dramatic lashes, remember, that's my business. And I use the Huda One coat underneath. I'm keeping my eyes like this, so that it doesn't touch. I dig it back into the blush palette just a smidge and I use some of the powder because I couldn't see my blush enough and this looks pretty. So I will be doing the both of them because it's just necessary. This lip liner is from Freck Beauty. It's called Makeout Club. And it looks like a dark brown. Okay, this is cute. Ooh, this is really cute. Going for a soft lip. You know me, what's new? And this is Wander Beauty Dual Lipstick and Liner. This is the shade Ticket to 20. Ooh, I like this. It's a peach. Ooh, it offsets the pink so nicely. I could have done a pink lip, but I actually like that this is peach. Ooh, I like this lip. I love the look. Comment and let me know what you think. I'll leave two videos for you to choose from. Watch another one. Subscribe, all links are below, and I'll catch you in the next video. Bye.